So I'm pretty interested to pull this um, cylinder head off and have a look at that piston that's in there. So I've just pulled this rocker cover off and noticed something very interesting. So anyone that's had a Toyota four cylinder uh, rocker cover off before will know that there's a thread in the back of this gear and um, that hole and what's supposed to happen is this gear is supposed to be spring loaded so once it's assembled um, there won't be any noise with, with the gears gears clashing but someone at some points had this all apart and um, you can see through there that's the threaded hole it's meant to line up with that so it's been assembled wrong the second thing I found is inside here you can see the cam the cam timing marks and it's actually a tooth out so um, inside there you can see those two marks just there now that's meant to line up with that single mark there so that being a tooth out there could have been um, also part of the reason that this engine's exploded on the dyno um, I'm wishing I didn't pull the cam pulley off straight away because we would, would have been able to see if the the timing belt um, was out also which I wouldn't be surprised so just little things like that um, can set the ignition timing wrong especially when you've got the timing light trying to you know set the base timing on the computer so yeah hopefully those little things are the reason that this poor engine's exploded um, but yeah this new engine that's going back together I'll make sure it's, it's alright this time and <clears throat> we'll go again so yeah by the way this was the wrecker engine that we had that apparently came out of a running car so um, I didn't actually check any of the tiling marks or anything I just had, took the assumption that it was all assembled properly which I was definitely wrong so now pulling the cylinder head off I'm hoping I'm going to find some aftermarket shitty, shitty Chinese pistons but so just pull the cylinder head off and what you can see that's not supposed to be sideways just remove this second piston here and it does not look healthy I pulled out another piston and rolled out of that blown up engine and the first thing I noticed was this one's got STD stamped on the top and anyone that doesn't know what an STD is or I've never had one it means standard and compared to the genuine Toyota ones they have nothing apart from a number and the arrow Yeah, so this is leading me to believe that these are aftermarket pistons. The next thing I notice that's different is this oiling ring here doesn't have the wire that joins it together. So again, here's a genuine Toyota one. It's got that that wire there that sort of guides in together, keeps it keeps it as one, whereas this doesn't have that. The next thing too, underneath the genuine Toyota pistons, they actually have Toyota, so you can see there, there you go, Toyota. So I'm going to clean the underside of this, um, this other one and we'll, we'll see if this is a, a cheap Chinese copy or if it is a genuine Toyota one or not. So I gave it a, a good clean up and apart from no Toyota symbol or writing I can see some pretty shit casting marks so safe to say the reason that the gudgeon pins rip the ass out of the piston is these are just cheap shit probably also made out of recycled uh, beer cans so if we stick to the genuine stuff I think we're going to be fine for the 300 horsepower